I think there is no engineer who doesn't like moving mechanisms. Recently I watched a video about mechanical principles by a YouTube channel called Art of Rendering. The video had many satisfying animations and this dual impeller pump took my attention. I was curious if it works or not, so I 3D printed and tested it. Let's get started, bismillah. The bolt was small for this period, so I 3D printed a spacer. Before going to the next step, let me tell you about my new 3D printer, Anet ET5X. It's a nice option for those who want big volume for cheap price. For comparison, you can print this big object with this 3D printer. It's featured with AutoBed leveling sensor. It has dual Z-axis motors and dual Y-axis rails for more stabilized prints. Despite its budget, it has filament sensor for load by metal extruder. However, it has some downsides as well. The motors are noisy, so it's hard to work close to this printer. The software is very minimal and it lacks some of the useful features. And as a glass pad, they provide only simple glass instead of special 3D printing glass. When it comes to printing quality, I printed most of the objects in this project with this 3D printer, so you can see the results by yourself. This was my honest review of this printer. If you want to buy, links will be in the video description. Now let's continue to our project. To cover the pump, I could just 3D print a lid, but you cannot see what's happening inside. I tried to make a lid with epoxy, but it didn't turn out well. So I just ordered a laser cut of transparent acrylic.
before going to test, let me remind that I designed other type of impellers for this dual impeller pump. Now let me talk about this video's sponsor, Next PCB. Next PCB offers us one to four layer PCB prototype for free. That means you can get 10 pieces of one to four layer PCB without any cost. You can use their calculator to get instant quote before ordering. Just upload your circuit design without filling data one by one. Their calculator will show the price based on the properties you chose. Don't forget to use their free 1 to 4 layer PCB prototyping. Next PCB is a nice company for your next PCB order. Check the links in video description. To be honest, I have no idea which side of pump and gear rotation works better. So I tried different sides. Unfortunately, this impeller design didn't work. It blew some water. Maybe if I upgrade my battery, it may blow more water, but it's not the result that we want. Now let's change the impeller to the second one. This design seems to be working better. To improve it, I closed the gaps with silicone glue. Let it dry under the sun for some time and start testing. It worked surprisingly. Now it's time to the last impeller.
that's all for now. I tried to 3D print and test these impellers. It's my, it's my first time trying to make a pump. Did I make any mistakes? Please tell me in comments below. In order to make this video, I 3D printed a lot. I hope you will consider that. Thank you for watching. See you next time, inshallah.